So, you've been looking for a smoke pixel art tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to Test by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in a sprite once again, taking a look at how to create a type of smoke pixel art animation um, that I really like the way it looks. Um, so, we're going to get started today. I'm going to open up a new image. This image is going to be, we're going to go 64 by 64. Um, why not? So, we're going to open that up for a new image right there, and we're going to get started as quickly as possible. Um, I'm using my tablet right now, um, and I'm going to have the preview off on the uh, on the right-hand side here. I'm going to open up our timeline just a little bit. So, um, after we have all of that done, on the first frame with our grayish color here, let me open up uh, this Edge 32 palette, because I like the grays in that one. We're going to se select a bit of a grayish kind of dark color. And uh, on the first frame here, I'm going to add in, like, um, see if I can get this kind of... Just a single line, just going up, something like that. And then uh, we'll duplicate that. We'll hit this new frame over here. And we'll turn on onion skin mode so we can see what's going on. I want to, uh, before we add that that little piece right there, I want to add a second frame. And the second frame, we'll add that line back in. We'll that, add that line right back on in. Something like that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right. We'll just add, we'll just duplicate a bunch of these frames on out all the way until until we think the animation is going to be complete. I'll just add 32 for now. We'll see where that goes from there. On the uh, on the second frame, I want to leave the first frame blank, but on the second frame, we're going to add that little piece right there. And we're kind of just going to create a bit of line art here. And I'm going to turn this preview, make sure that's on. That is on, right? Yep, it's on. I'm going to kind of create this little preview for us to go. And I just want to kind of have this flow straight on up, kind of smoky, something like that. Maybe I want it to curve right here and go on like a little loop-de-loop. -loop. And the longer you make the lines, if I make that, that's, that's going to look like it's going really fast. And the shorter I make the lines, the, 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 um, the least fast it's going to go. So if I wanted to go a bit slower, I'm going to make the lines a bit shorter. So um, in the 10th frame, we're going to go somewhere right, right there, maybe up the way around, something like that. And um, kind of fading it off now. And then the next frame, I kind of want to just be one single pixel, something like that. Yeah, I like the way it looks a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to get rid of all these frames we don't need, which is a lot. I figured it would be. Um, we're going to select all those and just hit delete. And we're going to go back now. We, we can actually do some of the fine tuning a bit. I want to make this a bit thicker instead of just the one pixel line. So we're going to go ahead and thicken this up. Maybe something like that. Kind of want to remain that remain that um, that free-flowing, smoky-like quality. Maybe we'll add a bit of trails behind it as well. Um, for the smoke to kind of fall off of itself, something like that, maybe. Um, I want to leave uh, a few of them. I want to leave uh, a bit, a bit still thin. See what that looks like for now. Um, and maybe we'll keep going through, make it a bit more thick there, a bit more particles coming off, something like that. Maybe we'll have one come off right about here, and kind of fall down. I want to keep. I want to keep in mind where that. Um, where the uh, the onion skinning is, so that one's right there. So I want to kind of kind of make it go down a diagonal position there. Kind of phase away. Thicken this one up a little bit. And all the way around until we have the uh, the whole full solid, um, smoky kind of quality there. Kind of have that disappear into that right there. Um, Taking a look at that over on the right hand side for the preview. See if we can zoom in on that a little bit. Yeah, it looks pretty good so far. And um, on the 10th frame, we'll go ahead and we'll thicken this up even more. Maybe some more particles coming off of it. Have that one go down like that, I suppose. Just really trying to thicken this up. Like I said, it's just it, 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 it takes a lot of patience. But um, just really just throwing, throwing pixels in a flowy kind of way really gets the point across, I suppose. That particle right there, maybe a little bit. And now we're ending up a little bit, so I kind of want that one to be just the way it is in the 14th frame, the same way. It needs it definitely needs to get thicker as it goes, and I can see that's that's our animation right there. So what we're gonna do after we do that is I'm gonna go through and I want to add a bit of shading in. So I'm gonna duplicate. Uh, I'm gonna add a new layer, not duplicate. But I'm gonna add a new layer above our smoke layer. We'll call this uh, basic smoke. We'll uh, rename that to smoke or something like that. Just smoke. And then we'll call the second layer we have, we'll call that shade. Why not? 
All right, so uh, with a bit of a darker color here, I'm going to choose this color. What does that look like next to that? That's a bit too dark. We'll go ahead and we'll just add in a little bit of shading. Just a little bit, nothing too special. Just go ahead and add in a couple of those edges there. Just not really more, not really more like shading, more like um, texture lines, I suppose, would it be rather. Um, so that looks uh, pretty good. We'll just keep going through until all of the spaces we want to hit are filled. All right, so I've done all of the shading now. You can see over on the side, we have that uh, that kind of texture-like-esque quality. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to make sure everything is the way we want it. And I kind of have the feeling I want to add in uh, a couple more of these little smoke trails here. And uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll add in a new layer above the shade layer. And I'll, I'll hide the shade layer for, for now. I don't really particularly care for the shade kind of texture like that. That's just a bit of an example of what you can do here. So I'm actually going to uh, hide that because I kind of like the, that flat graphic better. Um, what I'm going to do is on the second layer, I'm just going to do that same smoke technique that I uh, showed you for the other frame there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in a couple more of those little trails there. Maybe I'll do like a bigger one over here. Um, something like something like this just pops up out of nowhere. Um, so let me eye drop this smoke color. So I've, um, I've made a second uh, smoke particle trail right there, which looks pretty cool. Um, but what I want to do is I kind of want to have this split right uh, on this frame right here. I want to have this split into another smoke particle right there and kind of do this weird flippy thing like that, which looks pretty sweet. I like the way that looks. Um, you kind of want to just go ahead and just build off of this. So at this point where it bends on this side over here, I kind of want this to go off as well something like that I guess and with smoke it's just, it's just really crazy and kinda hectic so I just wanted to be as is like free-flowing as possible really and just have a bunch of trails that come off of each other um, because I mean that's what smoke does right so I'm gonna have one go down here as well the same thing this is like the um, the really, really, really nitpicky kind of stuff, but I think it really helps further the um, further the believability of really the smoke animation uh, once it's done. Have that one go with the other one right there, something like that. I really like the way that looks, um, and maybe we could make the the beginning a bit more thick as well. Maybe bulk that piece up right there a little bit. Maybe have a bigger trail off of that I really love smoke animations if you can't tell <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is I want to have a, this like a big piece come off and kind of swirl over here as well um, so right there maybe it'll come off and kind of flow over here use this piece of the canvas as well something like that um, now that is pretty much it for our smoke. I think that looks pretty close to what I wanted to do. Um, hopefully, hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out in uh, smoke animations. I could definitely go thicker with this, but I kind of want it to be a bit wispy like this, like it's uh, a bit thinner than like an impact of something. It doesn't really look like it's something, you know, like an explosion or anything, but I really wanted just to have those little tiny smoke trail particles. I think it looks really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye.